I remember I was like 17 when I graduated and I'm going to Canada. Like we going to Canada for a show and I get to the border and they like, do you have your parents permission? <laughs> I was like, no. Uh. <laughs> I like, I like, I like, I called my mom. I like, yo, I like, mom, I'm at Canada. Can I go to Canada to do this gig? She like, yeah. <laughs> and then I just go to Canada. <laughs> and so like, I, I, I took a year after school. Like well, I took a semester after school to, um, to see, you know, to, to, to gauge if I want to go. So I went to school in January of like, I want to say I graduated Oh one. So I went to, I think Oh two, that was my first year at Berkeley that January. And it was the coldest winter of all time. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> That's Boston though. Yeah, man. When you auditioned, um, what was the audition like? Because I know like, I've had experience. I auditioned for Berkeley twice, and mm-hmm. like, um, like, is it was it different then, as far as what they wanted to mm-hmm. see from you? Man, I think pretty much all these school auditions are the same, bro. They just want to see if you can play, so they're gonna be like, play a funk beat, you know what I mean? Play a swing yep, yep. beat. Read this chart. Oh, let's do some some rudiments. Let's let's uh let's see if you can play a shuffle like just they'll throw something at you to see if you have more than just the normal things drummers have like everybody can play a pocket but can you play the shuffle do you know what a shuffle is just to gauge you mm-hmm. um man bro when i was at berkeley it was when i was about to leave bro i was auditioning the teachers with the the per- percussion dude i left berkeley early but i left p- partially because of this reason <laughs> this dude called me in his room he's like oh did can we sitting in there he's like how you like him i was like yeah right. <laughs> he's like he's like well <laughs> we're trying to get him to be the teacher i was like man i'm auditioning the teachers nigga. i'm out of here like, <laughs> oh, right wow. there you know it's all the same auditions are the same man they just want to see if you can play and it's not like a gig audition where it's like they playing with you you know they they generally want to get good students in because mm-hmm. the good students you know inspire other students that are maybe not good or even maybe are good to come to the school and spend their money yeah so they give they'll give uh they'll give a couple people a full ride to get a max amount of other people who are inspired by this one good person you know mm-hmm. yeah 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 and i got denied twice but it's, it's you know it was all it's all good because it it's was, expensive uh, bro it's expensive. I, yeah, I you heard. Get a full ride, bro. It's like it's yeah. insane. All right, let's get this question out the way. Okay. I accept. I accept your drummer. So, what is your definition of pocket? Oh, that's tough, man. It's all sorts of different kind of pockets. Okay, yeah. so pocket, pocket is like a rock pocket is you know loose and it's almost like you barely can play, and then mm-hmm. like the Chris Dave pocket, you know, the Jay Dilla pocket is when you sound like you drunk as shit. And then you got the you got the the Latin pocket where you got you like an octopus where you can play like all sorts of things at every part of your body. Yeah, every and limb is got, doing something different. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's all it's all a different pocket. Right now, certain pockets are just trendy. Like it's just trendy to like I don't know. People want to sound mad lo fi right now. And uh, you know, I think that's cool. Look, he found another thing with noise. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, he is a musician, bro. So, um, and so like, uh, I think it's all sorts of different type of pockets. I think that, um, music is one of those things, man. It's like, it's so subjective, man. And people, people tend to gravitate towards, um, they tend to gravitate towards things that get positive, um, feedback. So if you see somebody doing something, you might not even like it, but after a while, you just be like, I like it too. It's like you see a girl and she ain't that fine. And next thing you know, she growing you. And you're like, damn, she kind of is fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, no, she ain't, bro. You just been seeing it so long. Now you just used to it. Your you eyes, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Your, your eyes got refocused. This man says. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, you know, now you playing drums. I promise you, bro. Look, see, you got it. You don't got no kids, huh, Josh? No, 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 not at the moment. Oh, yeah, don't do it right now, bro. You got you be on a mission. <laughs> Come here. Come talk to Josh. Uh, but yeah, it's like, I don't know, man. It's like a lot of different. And then you got the country pocket. 
where mm-hmm. it's like, you know, you got the big snare and you want to sound good in the arena. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, I think it's all different. I don't I don't have a problem with or you got the church pocket. You know what I mean? The yeah, church that's... pocket. The church pocket is when the drums are super tight sounding. Mm-hmm. And, you know, church drums is, is just com- comedy to me, bro. I just I, I crack up at it because it's so many small Man, I had I used to take lessons from Indugu Chancellor. Me and Ronald, we used to be taking lessons from Indugu. And one of the things he said, he was like, "Man, if it's a long sound in the music, why would you play a long, a, a short crash? And if it's a shortened sound, why would you play a long cymbal?" And I was mm-hmm. like, "Huh." So I, when I listen to you know gospel, I just hear a lot of short sounding things from the 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 you know i think now fools are putting the max amount of splashes i've ever seen on a kit just to play church music and so and it's different because rock it's no splashes and so you have to kind of like adjust how you play because you have you don't have these short notes that sometimes don't even equate to much music it's just a filler you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so you have to like place your feels way different because you don't have these little ass notes that you can hide your lack of vocabulary with, you know what I mean? You're playing bigger yeah. drums. So, uh, you know, it's all sorts of different type of pockets, but um, I don't know, man. I think that, I think now we're in this place where people are, you know, just want instant gratification and they like to, they gravitate towards things people deem to be it, you know what I mean? So- And, they, and it's kind of like the only thing they, they, they choose. Like uh, I'm in I'm on this side of the drum community where like pocket is one way, and I, I'm like that's why I'm like I'm glad you said what you said because it's like it's deeper than that because it's it's multiple things that you could you can do under pocket, like it's yeah. a, it's a it's different responsibilities for different type of music. I mean, ultimately, if we're not talking about just playing drums by itself, pocket is just making the music feel good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if you're yep. playing, you know, some very complicated, like, you know, you got bands like Lauren Ashore and this dude is doing 64th notes on the bass drum, but it's still pocket. I a community tab asking you guys, what do you struggle with when it comes to drums? And you guys sent me a ton of comments. And I just wanted to let you guys know my drum course is now live and I covered pretty much everything in those comments. And I will be adding more lessons to that course Make sure to check out everything. It'll be the first link down in the description box below.